Legrand was seeking a light switch assembly, so your common just rock a light switch, and they came seeking some special purpose machinery. With that, we came up with some concepts and uh, came up with a collaborative project we could work on together. As a company with a lot of engineering resources themselves, with that, we were able to build out a project that built a four rocker system for them. Legrand was referred to Applied Robotics from one of our partners, Omron, and Applied Robotics was brought in to increase production output. Legrand is a special purpose machine that features three bowl feeders. There's a bowl feeder for the light switch assembly, the switch assembly, and the back plate. Those pieces feed up through the rotary bowl feeders and are orientated to be picked by their conveyors or placed by the SCAR robots in the cell. There are ejectors in the bowl feeders for the light switch assembly in the screw, so if they aren't orientated right on the way up, they get uh, shot back out to the bowl, not jamming up the system and keeping it running. I think the the special part about that particular cell is uh, Legrand is a company that competes internationally with its other manufacturing sites and we had to innovate enough that it basically beat out competition from the Chinese and the French markets who were seeking to also manufacture this product. So it was about really creating a project that had the right return but also could kick basically milestones when it comes to speed and efficiency. This particular machine is using the same operators as the manual machine was uh, using originally but it's got much higher output. So we've pretty much tripled the output of this particular line. And the operator who was there originally assembling these uh, plates for your light switches by hand with a press is now on the line, feeding bowl feeders, watching the line run and operating the robot. Uh, I think Applied Robotics developed that cell in a way that allowed one piece of automation as in the robot to deal with lots of infeeding parts uh, quite intelligently and uh, using a rotary table designed for uh, building out the rocker switches. It allowed us to put in a screw assembly, the top plate, the bottom plate, and the switch assembly itself, all with one robot and one gripper, uh, which when you're handling little parts that look very different can actually be more difficult than you think.